Hi guys and welcome back to my channel in the air with O'Hare and in this video we got a massive unboxings so let's get into it right now so um, I think I'm just gonna do it this way is uh, do the Star Alliance members first so um, starting at the top uh, we got uh, uh, so you can, as you can see already from the right hand side uh, of the box we got the KLM logo so it is another uh, KLM aircraft and then we got uh, the registration which is Papa Hercules Alpha um, Oscar Alpha and then there's and it's by Phoenix Wings so there's the uh, low Phoenix Wings logo and then turning to the top uh, we have the Phoenix Wings logo and the image of the aircraft and it's an Airbus A330-200 uh, um, and the white nose uh, livery and uh, turning to the uh, left uh, hand side we have just uh, um, the uh, Phoenix Wings logo um, Heart of Aviation and just like uh, uh, you know what Phoenix Wings is all about and then turning to the bottom we have image of the aircraft um, Airbus A330-200 and then we uh, have um, basically the same as the top uh, would be the Phoenix Wings logo but we have uh, here barcode um, of like the retailers barcode and then turning to the back we have um, uh, just the warning small parts uh, recycling made in China uh, the barcode Phoenix Wings logo 100 KLM logo and KLM logo there and then we got uh, the Airbus A330-200 this is a limited edition because it is in uh, uh, white nose cone livery and uh, and then let's uh, look at the front so in the front uh, we have uh, image of the aircraft and you can see it's a white nose uh, cone there and then Airbus A330-200 um, KLM 100 registration uh, Papa Hercules Alpha Oscar Alpha it's a 1400 uh, series uh, so let's uh, take a look inside And when you open it up, it has the Phoenix uh, logo right there, uh, the written uh, there we go. And here is the So, uh, the gears do roll, first off, and here it is, there we go, okay. So, uh, starting off from the front, so as you can see, uh, the white nose cone there, and, um,
Alright. And then we got uh, the El Wondor Air France KLM logo. And then we have the Star Alliance logo. Uh, KLM logo, Royal Dutch Airlines. Uh, and then the name of the aircraft. Uh, which, um, uh, I can't, uh, see right now, but I'll write it on the screen. And then, moving back, we got, uh, the antenna at the top there as well as the Wi-Fi dome. Uh, and then we have, uh, the, uh, 100 logo. And then, uh, very good detailing on the engines and on the wings. Um, it's hard to see, but, uh, if you see that little black dot right there, that's the landing light. And then on the engines, we have the KLM logo, uh, very good detailing. And then there's the active aircraft light. And, uh, I think this is just a little, little misprint here. And we have uh, the KLM logo on the wingtip there. And then moving back, um, we have uh, the L3 uh, and L4 doors, as well as the registration, Royal Dutch Airlines, uh, Netherlands flag, and European Union flag. And then as you can tell, it also does have uh, antenna at the back. and. Uh, on top and bottom of the fuselage and uh, there was supposed to be one more there but I think it broke off there uh, during transport and um, going towards the empennage we got uh, the KLM logo on the fin or should I say uh, the rudder and uh, alright there we go and let's take a look at the other side now, uh, the right hand side. Yep. Alright, so starting from the back, we got the KLM logo again on the rudder there. Uh, very good detailing on the elevators. Um, we got uh, the Airbus uh, A330 logo there. Um, L3 door. Uh, Royal Dutch Airlines logo, um, rear cargo door bay, registration, the European Union flag, and the Netherlands flag. Then we got moving up, we got the L3 door. Uh, again, very good detailing on the wings. Uh, you can clearly see the s flaps, uh, speed brakes, and the um, slats there. Again, good detailing on the engine. You can see that KLM logo right there. And on the wingtip, we have the KLM logo as well as the active, the green active aircraft. Uh, sorry, uh, navigation light, my bad. And then um, if you look there as well, I know it's a little hard to see because the camera's not on focus. Uh, but there's the KLM logo on the inside um, of the wings. Then moving up, we got the 100 logo, um, the L1, L2 and L1 doors, and then we have, again, the we're back at the dome, and the radar there, and then we have uh, the front cargo door bay, and then moving up, um, we have uh, Air France uh, KLM logo, name of the aircraft, and Star Alliance logo, and then... Uh, looking from the front, you can see that nice engines, um, good detailing inside. You can see every single fan blade. And then uh, there's the cockpit window, as well as uh, the windshield wipers. And the um, nose cone there. And looking at the top, again, uh, there was supposed to be a second uh, antenna there, but I guess it broke off. Uh, and then we have the other antenna at the back there, and then at the front, we have the 
Wi-Fi dome as well as the other radar there. And then uh, let's quickly take a look at the bottom and uh, move on to the next aircraft. So, alright, so um, we got um, the main landing gears and those lines that indicate their uh, bay doors. And we have the hole for the stand. We have a little red dot for um, the active aircraft flight light. Sorry, and um, you can also clearly see the landing lights there on the wings. Um, we got that uh, um, antenna there. And then moving up, we have uh, the nose landing gear and uh, those lines that uh, indicate the bay doors. And then um, under the wing we have the registration and this is on the right hand side. Um, nothing on this side. And uh, there's the other antenna there and then we have, um, I, I don't know if that's supposed to be another active aircraft light or navigation light but that's what it looks like right there. Uh, and then going back, uh, very good uh, detailing. Um, yeah, so that's that's about it for uh, this aircraft. Um, now let's uh, get on to the next one. All right, guys. So uh, here's the next box. So let's, uh, let's get into it. So I'm gonna run by this real quick. Starting from um, the bottom, we have Genomai Jets logo and and what Genomai Jets stands for, like all their information there, uh, in a way. Uh, basically, what the company is about. Um, and then turning to the left, uh, sorry, the right hand side, we got the Genomai Jets logo. Um, Image of the aircraft, Boeing uh, 767-300ER, uh, 1-400 scale die cast, item number. And then turning to the top, we have um, Genova Jets logo, adult collectible model, and then warning. Uh, and then we got the barcode. And then turning to left hand side, same as the right, Genova Jets logo, image of the aircraft. Um, Boeing 767-300ER, 1-400 scale, and then item number. And then turning to the front, we have, uh, obviously, look inside, we got that little flap right there. And then Delta logo, Sky Team logo, um, Boeing 767-300ER, 1-400 scale. And then moving up, we have uh, the image of the aircraft right there. And then that little Delta logo coming through. Uh, and then uh, 20th anniversary, Genomai Jets, uh, 1998 to uh, uh, 2018 uh, logo. And uh, made for collectors by collectors. And then turning to the back, um, we have uh, as real as it gets and just like more information about Genomai Jets and what they're all about. Uh, Genomai Jets logo, and then we have the image of the aircraft in climb mode, uh, or climbing, sorry. And then um, we have the licensing info, and um, this is a 2018 release. Um, so yeah, uh, now let's uh, take a look at the uh, oh uh, flap inside, and then we'll uh, take out the aircraft. So we have that window, uh, classic opening, so we can look at the aircraft. And then right up top on the flap, we have uh, Delta logo, uh, Star Alliance logo, Boeing 737, uh, sorry, 767-300ER uh, logo. And then we just got some information about that aircraft. And then we got the specifications uh, of the 767-300ER uh, and uh, pause to read all that if you want. Um, and then... Uh, uh, just the Genomai Jets website if you want to see their uh, latest releases. So yeah, let's take a look at the model now. Alright. 
And if you guys are wondering, like, why do I have another Delta? I'm not a huge Delta fan. Um, but here's the thing. Um, I'm gonna be replacing um, the Darren Wings uh, model that I had. Um, I do have it available for sale if you wanted to take a look at getting it. <clears throat> it's in excellent condition. Um, but uh, I thought I'd just replace it because some of the I'm not happy with the um, stickers or Dassel, I believe it's called. Anyway, um, so yeah, here's the model. Uh, the gears do roll. Um, the main gear rolls very well, uh, but not the nose gear. It's not rolling very well. It's more, mostly just dragging. Um, but um, that's just uh, one uh, minor thing. And then, so let's just uh, get into uh, um, aircraft. It's not able to stay fully on the ground. I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, um, all right. So, all right. So starting off at the front, we got the cockpit um, windows there, uh, and then you can sort of see the windshield wipers. We got the Star Alliance logo. Uh, L1 door, Delta logo, and then moving uh, back you can see uh, the Wi-Fi box there and the radar there. And then we got the landing light on the wing. Um, very good detailing on the wings itself uh, with the slats, uh, flaps and speed brakes. And going on the wings, um, we have, uh, sorry, um, we have the over the wing exits as well as uh, just like a pathway uh, uh, indication um, to how to get off the wing in emergencies. Uh, and then we have, uh, going towards the back, we have the rear antenna registration, uh, Nancy uh, 173 uh, uh, Delta, so yeah, uh, Delta Zulu. And then we have uh, the rear emergency exit, or uh, yeah, other otherwise I think that that would probably be the L2 doors, I guess. Uh, no, the yeah, that would be L2. And then we have uh, the nice Delta uh, logo there on uh, the rudder or the fin. Um, and then um, looking at the wingtip. Uh, we just got the delta colors and the red uh, dot indication, indicating the red uh, navigation light. Or uh, yeah, and uh, let's take a look at the other side now. All right, so starting from the back on the right hand side, we got the delta logo right there. There we go. We got that nice uh, light uh, shining on that, so we can see that a bit more um, better. And then uh, that's just the manufacturer uh, registration, 1703. And then we got the rear emergency exit, uh, car rear cargo door bay, American flag, and uh, the registration, uh, Nancy 173 Delta Zulu. And uh, there's that um, antenna right there. Uh, and then uh, going towards uh, the wings, we again we got that uh, indicated pathway right there with the arrows uh, and uh, the emergency exits there. And then um, yeah, uh, as you can see, speed brakes, flaps very well detailed. We got that green navigation light on the wing here. And then uh, engines are very well detailed. Moving up, you can see uh, the dome and the other uh, front antenna over there. Um, we got that Delta logo. There's the front cargo door bay, uh, front emergency exit, and then we have the Star Alliance logo. And then moving up, uh, very good detailing on uh, on the nose uh, cone there, and uh, you can see the windshield wipers. Let's take a look at it from this angle now. Stay on the ground. 
Um, so yeah, uh, there it is. Very well detailed. And so is the engines. You could see every single fan blade. Uh, and yeah, nothing much on the top. Uh, just that little red dot indicating active aircraft light or anti-collision light there. Um, sorry, that's not anti-collision. Sorry, my bad. Uh, that's just, yeah, active aircraft uh, light. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, now let's take a look quickly at the bottom and move on to our next aircraft. So, we got that Delta logo, uh, Genomai Jets logo there, the main landing gear, and then those lines indicating the door bay, uh, bay doors, sorry, for the landing gear. Um, got, yeah, Genomai Jets logo going towards the back, uh, just uh, very good detailing on the Delta blue colors. And we got that little, uh, little bump there that, uh, is supposed to indicate this, uh, scraper. And, um, and we got the nose gear, and then we have, uh, the bay doors for the nose gear. Uh, and then we have that little writing that says, uh, 767-300ER. Uh, probably just says 300. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, very good detailing on the wings as well. Um, no uh, uh, registration under the wings though. Um, but yeah, and looking at the wings, there we go. And uh, there we go. Yeah. So that's so that's it for this one. Um, Uh, let's uh, now take a look at the other one. Alright, now let's look at the last but not the least. Uh, that's uh, part of uh, Sky Team. And uh, alright, so uh, starting off, we got at the bottom here, we got the Genomai Jets logo and information about Genomai Jets. Uh, turning to the left hand side, we got Genomai Jets logo. Amateur of the aircraft, uh, Airbus A350-900 logo, and 1400 scale, item number, and then turning to the top, uh, we have the Genomai Jets uh, logo, and then we got adult collectible model uh, warning, and there's the barcode there, and turning to the uh, left hand side now. Uh, same as the right, we've got Genomai Jets logo, image of the aircraft, and uh, Airbus A350-900 logo. Um, one 400 scale and item number. And then, uh, turning to the front side, the look inside in this little tab here. And there's the, uh, so it's Genomai Jets, made for collectors by collectors, uh, image of the aircraft. And then, uh, Delta logo, Sky Team logo. Uh, Airbus A350-900, 1400 scale, diecast aircraft model. Uh, opening it inside, we got that uh, little opening so we can take a look at the model. Uh, and then um, we got uh, information about the A350. So if you want to pause to read, you can take a look. Uh, Delta logo, Sky Team logo. Airbus A350-900 logo, uh, and then uh, going down here, uh, we got uh, the specifications of the actual size of the aircraft, of the actual aircraft, so um, there we go, cost to read, there we go, and there we go, um, and uh, yeah, so uh, let's uh, quickly take a look at the back, and then we'll take a look at the model itself. So, uh, flipping to the back side, we have uh, Genomai Jets logo, an image of the aircraft uh, climb, uh, climbing. Uh, as real as it gets, information about Genomai Jets. Uh, and then uh, uh, just the licensing information down there. Made in China, 2018 release. And yeah, so let's take a look at the model now. Um, I got this pre-owned uh, from someone else uh, on uh, eBay at a pretty good price. 
and uh, I did an inspection before uh, doing shooting this video uh, just to see if everything was fine and the uh, aircraft is not damaged at all it's in perfect condition and so I was able to get it for about uh, about uh, 35 bucks there Canadian so I was really happy I got a really good deal um, obviously you guys know I made an unboxing video uh, for uh, the dragon wings uh, sorry uh, not dragon wings uh, Darren wings uh, slash uh, real toy uh, unboxing so this aircraft will be replacing that um, so uh, along with the Delta 767 I am selling that one as well uh, so uh, message me uh, or comment down below um, if you guys are interested in getting that um, obviously there's no box because I I uh, threw away the box but uh, they're in perfectly good condition so yeah alright so uh, the gears do not roll uh, they're supposed to they're not rolling at the moment uh, in the nose so the nose gear doesn't roll um, but uh, it's rolling a bit alright so let's take a look at it now alright so um, uh, starting off from the right hand side we got cockpit uh, windows there you can sort of see the uh, um, windshield wipers there uh, we'll take a look at that from the front later on and then uh, going down we got the L1 L2 doors uh, Delta logo Sky Team logo uh, and then as you can tell it does have an antenna um, moving down back uh, onto the wing we have uh, you can see there the landing light um, Delta colors uh, on the engine sorry it's a little dusty there's a lot of dust uh, flying around so um, yeah moving on uh, very good detailing on the flaps um, and slats very good and uh, on the wingtip it's got that Delta logo there and then um, moving back um, behind the wings we got uh, the L3 and L4 doors uh, or rear emergency exits and then we got that Wi-Fi dome as well as more antennas uh, registration is uh, Nancy 502 Delta Nancy uh, and then on the tail uh, there's the manufacturer uh, number there or uh, not uh, the manufacturer's registration sorry of the aircraft which is 3502 and very good detailing again um, on uh, the rudders and uh, sorry the rudder and the elevators and now let's take a look at from the left hand side so starting from the back again we got that registration uh, manufacturer registration there again good detailing on both on this side too of the elevator as well as the um, rudder and then going back we have the L3 and L4 doors again American flag uh, with the registration uh, Nancy 502 Delta Nancy and we got the rear cargo door bay moving on um, again good detailing on the wings uh, slats and everything very well uh, we got the Delta logo on the wingtip here oh there is uh, maybe I missed it or I didn't see it well but there is the green navigation light so there must be a red one too there on the other side probably just couldn't see because of the lighting 
Uh, again, engines, uh, good detailing. Sorry about the dust on that. Um, I to uh, when it arrived, it was the box was dusty. I cleaned the box though. Uh, but apparently, I didn't clean it, clean it well enough. Uh, so that's why there's dust on the engines. Um, and there's a lot of dust like floating around too. Um, we got the landing light there. Moving on up back to the front, we got the front emergency exits, uh, otherwise known as L1 and L2 doors. We got the cargo door, uh, front cargo door bay, uh, and uh, we got the Delta logo, Sky Team logo, uh, and then we're back at the cockpit. Um, there you could see the wipers there, and then let's take a look at the engines. Very well detailed on the engines. You can, when I zoomed out uh, and zoom in, you can sort of see uh, each blade there. Very well detailed. And then uh, on the top, there's uh, just the antennas uh, at the rear and at the front, and the Wi-Fi dome. And then looking at the wingtip, uh, you do have the Delta logo inside the. Uh, and the wings facing the windows, uh, well, sorry, facing the fuselage. And then uh, let's take a look at the bottom now. Uh, so we got that Delta logo, the hole for the stand, uh, the main landing gear. Again, it does roll. This one, not this side, doesn't that much, but this one rolls very well. Uh, and the nose gear doesn't roll. So we got the Delta logo, Genomai Jets. Uh, got that delta color going on the belly there. Um, fla uh, flaps very well detailed, no registration under the wings. Um, again, engines very well. And then going to the front, we have uh, the front, uh, sorry, the nose gear and the bay doors for the nose gear. Uh, you can sort of see uh, at uh, like the ma for the main gears as well, you could see the door. It's really hard because that uh, of that sharp blue delta colors. So yeah, that's it for uh, this one, and uh, let's uh, carry on to the next one. Well, this is the last one. That's a Sky uh, Sky Team uh, member. So uh, let's get to the next one. All right, and uh, so here is the last one. So <clears throat> let's get into it. So starting from the bottom, we got the Jenna My Jets logo. Um, we got uh, just what Jenna My Jets is uh, about. Just a little briefing, and then turning to the right hand side, we got Jenna My Jets logo. Um, Airbus A340-600 uh, image of the aircraft and one for one to scale and then we got the item number turning to the top uh, we got the Genoma Jets logo and uh, just the warning at all collectible model um, barcode and then turning to the left hand side same as the right we got the Genoma Jets logo um, Image of the aircraft, Airbus A340-600, uh, 1-400 scale diecast uh, model and uh, uh, item number. And then, uh, so turning to the top, uh, we got uh, the 20th anniversary logo, Jenna My Jets, 1998 to 2018, made for collectors by collectors. Again, sorry about the dust that you uh, <clears throat> excuse me see on uh, the box there uh, we got the image of the aircraft um, uh, Virgin Atlantic uh, logo uh, with the Virgin logo there and Airbus A340-600 logo 1400 scale that has aircraft model uh, and then look inside so like always Genomite Jets fashion we got the flap there and then um, looking inside we got the little window of the aircraft uh, like little opening so we can see the aircraft uh, and then um, 
up here we just got uh, information hold on there we go um, pause to read about uh, Airbus A350-600 so just information about that and then going down here oop, we got uh, just the specifications so you can pause to read if you like there and then there we go alright and there's the model so let's take a look at it now oh, sorry accidentally zoomed in too much And the reason why I got this one is because um, I had a, a Darren uh, slash real toy uh, model of this. Uh, well, not this one specifically because it wasn't in a big version. Uh, a big virgin uh, thank you, a Virgin Atlantic thank you uh, livery, but um, it was a A340-600. So this is going to be replacing that as well. Um, I've already sold it, so it's uh, not available anymore. Um, but uh, now that the, uh, this is uh, its replacement, so uh, here we go. We got a little plastic here uh, to protect it. And then we got plastic underneath the model itself. There we go. So here is uh, the aircraft. So. Uh, Starting from the right hand side, uh, we got the cockpit uh, windows there, uh, we got that classic, uh, uh, I think she's called the Virgin Mary, I'm not exactly sure, you can com comment down below if you know. Uh, so we just got her with the British flag there, uh, and then I'm pretty sure that's the name of the aircraft, I can't quite see it right now, so I'll probably just write it on the screen. Um, Airbus A340-600, um, L1 door, uh, and then we got a big Virgin Atlantic thank you, in big writing, oh, and, uh, uh, yeah, and then uh, right under the N we got the L2 door, uh, moving on you can see on the wings um, uh, the landing light, very well detailed, and we got the slats there. And we'll take a look at the wings later as well, as well as the engines from the front. Uh, but going along to the wingtip, um, I uh, it's just got the virgin uh, the uh, virgin uh, color right there, red color, and uh, the navigation light, uh, uh, red navigation light. And then moving back to the fuselage, uh, we have. And an emergency exit over the wing and then we got that little pathway indication right there and then going back uh, further uh, to the thank you part uh, we have uh, the Virgin lo um, I think that's one of Virgin Atlantic's older logos uh, but that's what we have right there and uh, we have the rear emergency exits as well the L3 and L4 doors um, and then we got the registration which is uh, George Victor uh, Nancy Alpha Papa and uh, again very good detailing with the virgin colors I really like that red that shines too and um, on the rudder and the elevator is very well detailed. Uh, again, as you can tell, there's the antenna there as well. And then turning to the right hand side. Uh, sorry. Yeah, this is the right hand side. That was the left. Sorry, my bad. Um, uh, starting from the back, we got the Virgin logo there on the fin of the empennage and uh, the rudder elevators again there we go um, rear emergency exits L3 and L4 doors we got the registration once again that uh, old uh, or vintage I don't know what I would call it uh, but that's uh, 
uh, the Virgin uh, logo that they had many, 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 many years ago. Uh, we got the rear cargo door uh, moving up. We got, um, uh, again, that uh, emergency exit on this side as well. Uh, and that little pathway on the window um, to indicate how to exit. And, uh, again, slats, uh, flaps, and speed brake are very well detailed. Uh, moving towards the wingtip we got that nice red color again and we got the green navigation light. Engines are very nice as well. Uh, we'll take a look from the front again. And moving back towards the fuselage we have that landing light as well. Uh, and then uh, on the T in front of the tank uh, uh, from in front of the <laughs> So, uh, on the T, uh, we got uh, the L2 door, and then moving back up to the front, finishing with the U. Uh, under the U, we got the Airbus A340-600 logo, and then um, we got the front cargo door bay, and then we got the L1 door, and there's uh, the Virgin Mary, I guess. I guess that's what she's called. Again, if you guys know, please comment it down below. And then on top of the fuselage, oh, oh sorry, uh, cockpit windows. And again, that's the name right there of the aircraft. So I can't quite see it when I'm editing this. Maybe I'll, uh, like I said, I'll write the name uh, on the screen here. Um, and then at the on the top of the fuselage, uh, we have um, <clears throat> in the front, the uh, antenna there, front antenna, and then we got that little Wi-Fi box there, or Wi-Fi dome there, and uh, this little red dot indicating active aircraft. And uh, going towards the back, we got the rear antennas. And uh, let's take a look at the front now. Um, so you can see the cockpit windows and uh, the white. Uh, windshield wipers there. Uh, taking a look at the engines. Uh, the engines are going to be a little bit harder to see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best here. So yeah the engines you guys can't see them uh, clearly. Uh, the engines are, are a little bit, well, obviously they're, these are accurate size to 1400, but they are small, so that's why there's like no light going down, uh, down to the engines there. You can sort of see, uh, when I zoom out here, you can sort of see the uh, blades there, uh, but it's very good detailing. Um, <clears throat> And uh, so let's take a look at the bottom now. So turning to the bottom, um, we got the red coming down to the bottom here. Uh, there's no uh, antenna in the rear, uh, in the bottom of the fuselage. There's the landing gear. Uh, it does pivot a bit, but um, it's rolling slightly, but very little, very little rolling. Um, yeah, um, flaps very well uh, detailed, and then we got the Genoma Jets logo. We got the hole for the stands, and we got that little engraving to uh, show uh, the bay doors for the gears. And then moving here, we got the registration again, uh, which is George, Victor, Nancy, Alpha, Papa, uh, and then moving back to the front we got the nose landing gear and then we just got that um, just those lines drawn in uh, to indicate the nose uh, landing gear bay doors and yeah so that's it for uh, this um, massive unboxing hope you guys liked it make sure to smash that like button uh, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video
Thank you.